What's co- what's connected now? I mean, we know that like uh, engines and 747s are connected, yeah. um, but I don't know like kind of where the state is now. And then you talk about in the future cows being connected. <laughs> yeah. So I think like, where, where are we roughly now, and, and where do you kind of expect us to be going so forward? So I, I think the the, the uh, well the cow example is is happening now. Uh, there's a company out there in uh, in Holland, I think it is uh, Sparkle or Sparkle, yeah, Sparkle, I think it is. Um, they're, they're actually doing this. They're, they're collecting data from cows, but the reason that they're doing it, and there is a good reason, it's not just because they can. Um, you learn more about these things than I ever thought I ever would, but um, cows naturally uh, don't have any outward sign of being unwell. They, you know, they're, 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 they've developed over time evolution to sort of hide all illnesses so they can't get picked off by predators. Um, so from a farming perspective, it's really difficult to know whether your livestock is unwell until it's too late and potentially too costly. And so being able to track it actually allows you to notify if blood thinning or if it's um, temperatures raising or whatever it is. Um, so you can actually start to treat it again uh, earlier. So we've got things like that already out there. The engine example that you talked about, I mean, there's a huge amount of data now being produced by the likes of a Rolls-Royce engine. Right. Um, but, but we're also increasingly beginning to see uh, examples of... Um, We've had a conversation recently, actually, with a health trust about how they could start to better uh, connect to uh, an ambulance. Uh, and now, there's a very good reason, again, why you'd want to do that, because if you have a, a head trauma, and unfortunately, you know, being a, a motorcyclist, sure. you'll know this. You know, if, if there's a golden hour that if if you have a head trauma, then you've got to get you know some early stage information back to start treating that individual. But the time to bring someone back into a hospital, all of this sort of stuff, it can delay the, uh, the treatment and therefore the recovery. So being able to connect to um, a paramedic while out in the field and provide some real-time data back to the hospital and treat, uh, start the treatment of that person, free up some of the necessary um, equipment so when that person comes in, you know, all of these things are, are beginning to play out. And that's happening today. We're, we're having those conversations. Being able to stream high-definition video from that paramedic back to uh, the, uh, the, the hospital. All of these things are, are happening today, and it's, uh, like I say, it's, it's an interesting area. What we've tried to do is kill all the shit and just focus on what really makes working better. We see ourselves as a hospitality business. Our team are hospitality people. We won, we won um, service business of the year last year. It's probably London's only zombie-proof building. So when the apocalypse comes, come to Whitechapel. We've got off-the-grid power from generators. Mm. We've got a satellite dish bringing the internet. You go upstairs, you've got a 140-person um, event space called the Innovation Loft. If you have an event and you want to put it on somewhere, come and see us. It's free. 